I feel like we need to talk about what just happened. As of recording this, PlayStation just had their state of play or whatever it is, which is basically the PlayStation Nintendo Direct. And they, they had a lot of reveals, but they had like two that were pretty interesting to me. They had, of course, the new Five Nights at Freddy's game and a whole new Bug Snacks update. And so I am very hyped for that. We're, we're gonna be talking about that today. So with Bug Snacks, there's like, you know, big Bug Snacks, that's new. I don't know if they're like bosses. I know you could like throw something to make them, you know, smaller, but like, I don't know. Like, what? why are they big? What happened? How many calories do they have? And there's like a whole ton of stuff like too. There's like the whole new like island or whatever it is, which seems like it came out of the ocean. I wonder what this has to do for, with like the lore to like the ancient civilization that was, you know, there before. I was literally planning on doing a theory video on it, like what happened to them. But it seems like we might be getting a lot more info on, you know, what happened, like all the backstory. I wonder if it's gonna have the same like dark tone as the original game. Cause like, I mean, I don't know if it's kind of a spoiler cause it's shown in the trailers, but Bugstax is like all cheery and stuff like at first, but like there's like an actual like kind of like darker secret. I wonder if this is gonna connect to that or if it's just gonna be its whole own thing. Cause like all, all the characters are here. So it's like definitely takes place between the point where you like return everybody to town and the ending of the game. Also, I'm just looking back at it. Is that, is that like a meatball spider? Oh no. But yeah, there's like the whole ancient civilization, all the new like bug snack types, which is really cool. Uh, I wonder how like in depth the story is gonna go. Like, is it gonna be all like super story focused or is it just mainly new place, catching bug snacks? It seems like everybody's here. So that's cool. We get like a ton of new character interactions. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how it goes when the game actually, you know, comes out. Another big thing is hats are a thing. You can put hats on bug snacks now, which is really cool. You can have like, you know, hats on a bunger, that Quevel looking stylish. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but that will be really cool. Just, you know, just a kind of for fun thing. And also the house building mechanic, they, they have like a house now. That's, that's really cool. Like before you just sleep in the airship, but now you can like make your own house. You can like decorate it. I wonder if they had that originally planned because they did have the, you know, where the house is in game. They did have like the platform there, but you couldn't really do anything with it other than I, th I think there was the quest to get like the firework work, bah, firewood that one night. I don't know, but it's really cool that you can like build your own house. I guess you could just stick with mail so you could like get letters from people. I don't know if that's like other players or if it's like, you know, the townspeople, but yeah, I am, I am very hyped. If you don't know, Bug Snacks is in like my top favorite, like top three favorite games. So I am very ready for more. Like I a hundred percent that game. And I was like, I didn't feel that was like enough. I wanted more. So it's really cool to see a whole new update. Security Breach, the new FNAF game got more info. I wasn't actually expecting a trailer because of the whole Freddy and Friends thing. But it's like, ah, oh, dude, like when they had that, like the like announcer voice, like the same one from like some of the other games, dude. And the game looks so good too. Like all like the, the creepy moments and like, ah, uh, I don't really know all the new stuff it revealed, but like definitely confirmed a lot of stuff that was hinted at. Dude, it, it's so cool. Like, it showed all, like, a bunch of new animatronics. The sun guy seems cool. He seems, like, it's just a theory, but, like, he seems, like, friendly in the day, but then, like, goes crazy at night. And then, of course, there's the whole, like, hiding in the Freddy suit. Oh, wait, you can, I, I just noticed this looking back. You can actually control this, like, look at, control the suit. That's cool. But, like, dude, all, like, the, ah, uh, like, the game seems like it has, like, a more... Resident Evil style, which I think is like really cool. I am very hyped for this. The game looks great. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And we got a release date too, like December 16th, 
which was actually kind of what I was expecting, but I didn't expect to get a release date because they usually they because recently they've been showing like they've been slowly like hinting at the release date like through the Freddy and Friends short series or whatever it's called. And but that's cool. That is that is really cool. I am very excited for this for both of these things. So that's about it. Just wanted to make that. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely play both of those as soon as they come out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Good night. Goodbye. Yeet.